let's talk about The Little Horseman, one of the most popular and more difficult pieces in Tchaikovsky's children's album. This little piece is all about teaching staccato. Many of the works in the children's album are also about staccato. This must have been an articulation which Tchaikovsky found very important. So let's talk about it in some detail. Staccato, of course, is just a word. There are so many different kinds of staccato, from a slow pickup to the shortest, sharpest possible note. We, our first job in any piece is to determine what sort of a staccato the composer wants. So in The Little Horseman, there's very little doubt that the short and sharp staccato is being called for. articulation, which is staccato. I can think of two very good ways. Way number one, I call it flicking the fingers or perhaps scratching the keys. You're going to start on the surface of the key and flick the fingers as fast as possible. This is a marvelous articulation. Can you hear how bright, how loud, how sparkling the sound is? Just perfect. Mm, but there's a problem. This is a slow articulation because it takes a great deal of time to move the fingers away from the key and back on. A faster way of playing short sharp staccato is almost exactly the opposite, where instead of moving the fingers, we are going to move our entire arm. Isn't it interesting how fingers are slow and the elbow is actually a very fast joint. So we're going to organize our hand so nothing is moving and we're going to poke the keys again from the surface. Isn't this wonderful? It still sounds very bright and very sharp and has a wonderful edge, but at the same time, we can go as fast as we want. Success! So now that we've learned how to make a beautiful staccato, we have two pages worth of it. And that can become a little bit boring. So we have to find ways to make the piece more interesting and more exciting. And thankfully Tchaikovsky gives us plenty to work with. For example, in the beginning of the piece, the melody seems to be clearly located in the top voice. Correct? However, after we hear this phrase a couple of times, we can start to think that perhaps we can emphasize a different voice. For example, The melody definitely does begin to move from one voice to another. Could you hear it? Wasn't that fun? The next aspect to consider here is phrasing or shaping or structuring the piece as a whole. As usual with Tchaikovsky, his dynamic markings are ambiguous or sloppy and can sometimes be, uh, how should we put it politely, ignored or expanded upon. And so that we can create a lot of interesting variations within our phrase. So here's our phrase, which is four measures long. Which is then repeated exactly. What should we do? Can we create an echo? That's one option. Or perhaps the first four measures are a crescendo, and then the second four measures are a diminuendo. Also a good option. If your tempo is faster, perhaps the entire eight measure unit is a crescendo. And they can change. 
change depending on your tempo or your mood or where you are in the piece. As with all the movements, I suggest experimenting with different things and enjoying the creative process of creating your own individual interpretation. I hope I've answered a lot of your questions. If you have more, please leave them in the comments. Happy practicing!